Well, what's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Uh, it's been a crazy day. We've got all kinds of news. We, we're hearing Lamar Jackson has turned down uh, a fully guaranteed three-year deal for $133 million that averages out to 44 million uh we hear that aaron Rodgers is trying to get the band back together kind of like uh you know when one guy gets accepted to the university you got to bring his cousins along with it too and buy buy his mom a tractor uh because they're trying to get lazard as well as randall cobb they're doing everything they can to try and appease aaron Rodgers. we got the cowboys actually signing one of their players because you know we believe in our own guys with donovan wilson and we had heard that um, Michael Irving's case, he d dismissed it in the Texas court. And immediately people have gone through and said, Michael Irving's guilty. He must have seen the tape. He must have seen the tape and know, oh, man, they got me dead to rights. Or, you know, or, or Marriott showing different locations of everywhere Michael Irving went. Maybe he had something going on. That's the speculation that you're getting from people right now. That's the speculation that you're getting from people right now. And so we are going through and trying to put all this together. So when you start listening to what is actually transpiring, it sounds like this is part of the normal course because technically the Texas court has no jurisdiction over uh, Marriott because the case happened actually in Arizona. Also, their parent company, Marriott is actually in Maryland in Bethesda. So the court system was used in Texas because it's more friendly to Michael Irvin to help them put pressure to get the tape released. Now that they've got the tape, the second part of the filing by Marriott, which is jurisdiction on the case, the jurisdiction of the case, of course, the judge has to rule and say, is this a, the proper court for this to be filed in? I've heard, and I'm not, don't quote me on this, that the case has been refiled in Arizona. I don't know if that is a fact, but I'd heard Mike Farello had actually said he'd heard that the case filing had already been refiled in Arizona for it to actually be taking co the, the case itself being taken there. The thing was is, had they initially gone through and filed it in Arizona, had Marriott done the things that they have done, then it may have been more advantageous for them to have not turned over the tape. Clearly, this tape is everything. So with this, this is shout out to Damn Gina for uh, sharing this with me. This is Michael Irving denying what we've heard. And we've heard, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I find it hard to believe. I, I'm, I'm sorry. And you can call me biased. I, I like Michael Irving, of course. I'm a Dallas Cowboy YouTuber. But for Michael Irving to have been in media and in the spotlight for as long as he has been and having past issues and things, it's kind of hard to believe that Michael Irvin would literally smack himself three times and say, you know, I, I got to get me some of that. Keep it together, Mike. Keep it together. I, I find it hard to believe that in a public setting where he had the wherewithal to say, I don't really want to take the pictures in the bar because that's not a good look to go out and take pictures with people and come back in that he would literally find one individual that he is so just taken back by that this is the be all end all for this person. Now, again, I can be wrong. I can be 100% wrong. I'm just giving you my personal opinion, whether it's right or wrong. It's still my opinion. Michael Irving has denied, and this is Michael Irving in his own words. We'll go here from Joe Boo Sports Central here and play his denial. <laughs> Yeah, and it's, I, I, I imagine they are, they're trying to now, since we're, we're here with this lawsuit, trying to say some things to, 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 to help their, to help win a case. I, I believe even the filings that, that filing that you have, that they wrote that after after all this came together. That's not anything that they got came up with uh, prior to. So, you know, I, I, I don't speak like that. 
You know what I mean? I, I've never spoken like that. So I, I'm not even, yeah, I, I totally deny saying that. I totally deny saying that. Sir, you have any response to Marriott? Okay, so you heard that from Michael Irving himself. You know, it's he said, she said right now with the situation that we have. Um, I, I Like I said, I, it, when you are in the public eye, you learn that you have to live your life like somebody is always watching. You know why? Because somebody is always watching. You've got a target on your back when you become a famous person. People will look at you and say, I want what he's got. Uh, if I can get with him, then I'm going to get some of that. If I can find dirt on him, I'm going to get my five minutes of fame too. I'm not accusing the person of that. I'm, I'm, I'm saying, what I'm saying is, is you learn that. That you have to constantly watch your back on everything you do. And I would find it hard to believe that Michael Irvin would truly go through and do all of these things. Like I said, I can be completely wrong. But before we made judgment on this, we have to understand that this is a case that is, you know, it's not up to me to decide. It's not up to Marriott to decide. It's not up to... Um, Michael Irvin's attorney's side. This is now up to the court to decide with the evidence on what's going to happen. And of course, with any case, you're going to hear both sides trying to argue their point of view and what went on. Marriott does not want to pay $100 million. They don't. Michael Irvin doesn't want to be labeled with this as he's a sexual predator and having lost his career with the NFL network and become, you know, that guy that we can't use anymore. Michael Irvin loves the spotlight. Michael Irvin loves what he does. Michael Irvin is very, very good and one of the best at doing what he's doing. And I'm sure right now with the free agent frenzy that's going on and having the combine in the Super Bowl, it's killing him not to be able to be out there in the limelight. So, of course, he wants to get his life back. So, here we go. For those out there that condemned him and said he's guilty because they ended up dismissing the case in Texas, well, this is just the next step. And like Marriott did, Marriott is automatically in the NFL because the NFL hadn't talked to their investigators, didn't talk to Michael Irvin. We have to stop a rush to judgment that everything that you hear is not always the facts. This world is totally different than what it used to be where journalism was about getting the stories right. About putting the truth out there and letting you to decide. Now it's about, doesn't matter if it's right. Doesn't matter if it's accurate. It's about getting you to react to it. And if it hurts somebody along the way, hey, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. We're just about making money, and that's where it is. So don't rush to judgment until we get everything on the on side, okay? It's kind of like your friend and his girl get into a disagreement. You don't want to get into the middle of that thing You you you, you because cause you become the bad guy. All right. Anything else that comes out about this, we'll be sure to bring it to you. I'm Mark Holmes, and thank you, as always, for watching and following. Peace.